If you work in video production and you want to be a DOP, you surely know the gear buying cycle. You get money from a job, you immediately spend it on expensive new gear, camera or lights, and then you need money again, so you're out there hoping to get new jobs with the gear. You get a new job, get money, and spend it immediately on gear, and the cycle continues. But does that even make sense? In this video I want to give my opinion on the whole topic of buying gear, as I worked both in videography and cinematography as a camera assistant, gaffer and DOP in the UK, and I'll want to tell you about my experiences. I think the biggest question you should always ask yourself is when you're thinking of purchasing gear, why do you want to get that specific gear? Is it just the newest, fanciest thing out on the market? Did you get hyped up by some marketing campaign? Do you already have more concrete plans what you're actually going to do with the kit? Is it specifically for your kind of videography self-shooter kit to make your job easier? Or are you planning to rent out your gear to productions when you're on a job or even on a rental website like Fatlama? I don't think buying gear in general is bad, but having a priority as to what gear is important and you really need immediately or of what gear you can actually hold off for, for a bit and save some money is good. For myself, there's a few reasons why I would want to buy gear and what type of gear specifically. The biggest for me is lenses, as lenses are timeless they can even be adapted to multiple cameras and there will always be demand for lenses. Lenses also generally don't age as much as the high-tech cameras or lights and you can actually find a lot of used lenses that are still in a very good condition and thus save some money. And once you decide to sell yourself, you will probably be able to sell for a similar price that you bought it for. Another big reason is offsetting your taxes and declaring your purchases as expenses so you pay less taxes at the end of the tax year. I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, however in my opinion you should be careful with that as to not offset too much so on paper you're still actually earning money and not just offsetting all your profits with gear buying. And then there's also high-end gear that could make sense for you to buy specifically if you're more looking into becoming a gaffer or a camera assistant. You really have to keep in mind though what kind of gear is actually in demand. So I strongly recommend if you for example are a gaffer and want to buy lights, check out what lights are offered by rental houses and what lights are offered on say platforms like Fat Llama or Vedio. Because those lights are popular, they're in demand and productions are actually paying for those lights to be on set rather than just possibly buying it cheaper even better light, but it's not in demand and no one asks for it and you won't get money from buying that specific gear. If you're gaffer, it's almost mandatory that you own some lights and light accessories. And if you're camera assistant, it's mandatory that you own at least a camera bag with some basic tools, clips, tapes and all of that stuff. If you want to expand on that kit as a camera assistant, you can consider getting a fuller focus, video transmission and monitors. Same thing applies though, you need to get gear that is actually in demand and being used on higher end sets so that you can actually be charging productions to getting that gear onto their set rather than just buying a maybe possibly cheaper and possibly even better version than what's on the market right now but no one's asking for it. There's also one harsh truth about gear and gear buying in general and that is no one's gonna hire you just because you go bought some gear. Clients, directors or production companies won't magically just approach you and ask to shoot with you if you just bought the latest new camera. However, you might have some advantages if you're applying for a specific job that requires some gear or you can use that gear as leverage to say, hey, really hire me because I already own the stuff that you need. You will most likely only be able to do that though on a smaller scale job and on the bigger scale jobs, the gaffers and camera assistants that are having gear and are getting hired have full vans of gear which you can't compete with if you have one or two lights. So what is my recommendation? If you're planning to be a DOP, I would say it's important to have at least some minimal self-shooter type of kit where you are a videographer and you're able to shoot, say, a corporate interview all by yourself and have decent enough gear that's also making your job easier when you're shooting. I'd also recommend getting that gear in a type of brand that's compatible with other production companies for example, a lot of companies are shooting with Sony gear when it comes to corporate interviews, so having Sony gear yourself might be beneficial. And then the next step could be stepping up as a gaffer or a camera assistant and then specifically 
buying gear in that branch, so camera branch, follow focus, video transmission monitors, or if you're in Gaffer or Spark, you're buying lighting gear and expanding on that. If you however want to step up into bigger projects and shoot with better gear, I don't recommend trying to buy a red camera if you're barely getting by anyways, but rather renting that gear from sites like Fetlama, Video or Rental House directly, or even if you just want to get your hands on that type of gear, ask for a testing day with those rental companies, build relationships with them, so in the future you can hire from them. Finally, on a personal note, I would say it's important to develop good financial literacy and habits for your personal life and not always just spend all the money that you're making on gear and learn how to save up or use that money for your own personal life as well rather than just filmmaking. What is your opinion on buying gear and specifically advancing your career with buying gear in the media industry? Leave a comment as I'm interested in hearing how other people handle these sort of things and it's not as much talked about in the world of YouTube where everybody is sponsored by somebody and recommending new gear to buy. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.